What is up, y'all? This is Marshall of DonkeyJawProjects.com, and you are entering the distorted world of Planet Plex. <laughs> so today, we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, heavy metal bukla. Um, I got the source of uncertainty coming in very soon. I'm getting closer and closer to closing in on having the full bukla set. As time goes, the best I can, um, <laughs> and uh, I'm excited because I really, I really love uh, what I'm getting from these modules already. I mean, it's been a while that I've had uh, the quad function generator and the um, the dual oscillator, but uh, I've just recently added the voltage processor and the quad uh, low pass gate. So. Uh, source of uncertainty is on its way. Actually, was supposed to get here yesterday, but I don't think I'm getting it till tomorrow. But hey, it is what it is. That being said, I'm working on tracks, working on beats, working on some projects and things. Uh, and this is something that will go on to a project, most likely. Um, and I didn't really mean to kind of go this route today, but with your rack modular, uh, if you've had any experience with it, you probably know that uh, what you plan on doing isn't uh, always what happens. Um, so my first intention was just to quantize the two oscillators and just get something interesting out of it. Um, and that I did, but I don't know how quantized. Like, like I used uh, Mordax data to tune it and everything. And then uh, I have it going through zero control uh, to get it quantized and through Pamela's new workout. Um, and, you know, it is what it is. But then once you th start throwing modulation to it, I don't really know. It's, it's losing its fundamental um, pitch. So, yeah. <laughs> but that being said, I made a couple things that I think sound cool together and they're going to go in a track most likely more, uh, more likely than not. Cause I think I like what happened. So first of all, I I'm basically showing you two patches in one. Um, I'm going to start with the simplest. So what I have going on here in the bottom oscillator is I have basically the, the square wave. It's, it's probably closer to somewhere around a saw wave. Um, and it's, it's pretty simple, actually. It's just being modulated by the top oscillator. Um, you know, I think uh, we got both of them cross-modulated, um, but one is through a different kind of situation, and we'll get to that after. And then, um, you know, I just have the pitch going in. So uh, it's, it's very simple, um, so I'll let you hear it. Just, uh, you know, I guess four beats per measure type of situation. And then off to the right, you can't see it, but uh, I have Rausha Legio um, coming in. So as I, the way I do tracks i just record into like ableton often and i'll get a couple like two or three like layers that i like and then i'll just kind of modulate and record for two to three minutes and then um i'll have like three ish layers and then i'll i'll do like the drums afterwards and really arrange it in ableton afterwards um, especially if I'm trying to do like a suit, like a beat or whatever, like a hip hop beat or whatever. Um, so basically what I did was this, I turned this on, I turned this up and then I just used Rausch Allegio, um, which is like a, a dirty filter from, uh, noise, noise engineering. And I just went and did all kinds of distortion tricks. So, um, you know, it's already sounding kind of distorted and that's you know, due to the cross modulation from the top um, oscillator. So this is it without any effects. And then this is once I put effects on or this effect on and it's low, it's, it's on a band pass right now and it's on the all preset. Um, and I can just turn up the, uh, the folding and the resonance to kind of get it to sound really crunchy. So here's the resonance. And 
that gets like kind of that feedback thing going and then i'll throw up the folding which brings in some nice harmonics some gritty harmonics And there's all, all kinds of nice, like, nasty little, like, sweet spots in here. And I just play with it. I can also play with the frequency. Get all kinds of nasty textures. I love it. So I basically just did that, you know, throughout the track, and uh, that's one layer. <laughs> so um, we'll go on to the, the other layer, which is much more comp com complex. Again, we got the pitch going through uh, with Pamela's new workout and everything, quantizing it, and zero control, make noise. and uh, But then we have, again, cross-modulation, but I'm taking it out from the bottom oscillator and i'm putting it through to the voltage processor and then i have um oh what do i have i have a bunch of stuff <laughs> so that you can see this one's going into this part of the voltage processor and by the way like i see a lot of i watch a lot of buchla videos and and um man like I don't hear enough about the 257T voltage processor, but this thing is a beast. Like, I want another one of these, and it's, like, the cheapest one. Um, but, like, a lot of people I see get double of different things. This voltage processor, this thing is deep, especially when you start pairing it with other kinds of modulation. Once I get source of uncertainty, it's going to be insane. Um, but just using quad function generator and using the oscillator with it, like, these three, like get some pretty complex amazing like timbres and sounds and stuff like it's it's insane what you can do with this voltage processor um if you don't know what it does um there's part of me that doesn't know a hundred percent how everything exactly works but i kind of know um so it's basically like a a, a, v, a vca it's got an offset here and you can put things into here and um and then here you got this this whole section right here is like one section so you can put some voltage into the right voltage into the left whatever it is and then you can use this to cross fade these two voltages or you know oscillators or sounds or whatever you want to do so put really interesting things you can do with that and then again on the out out board part um this is the offset for uh for the out the, the the signal coming out uh <clears throat> so this is two in one so you got one here and one there and so i have some interesting things you know cross modulating and all that kind of stuff we got uh this function generator going in here we have again the um bottom oscillator going in here for some um fm sauce and then we got this other function generator coming in here cross fading um, th from this to nothing really because there's nothing in here but that's something you could do as well you could do like some cool amplitude modulation and stuff like that and all that is happening right here with all this is going through this depending on where the offset is and going into the fm of the top oscillator so that causes me to be able to like move these knobs and and you get some nice subtle um, changes and stuff and then I can also move the um, FM in there, and that's less subtle. But um, <laughs> to be honest, I haven't even been moving it, though, because we have the function generators moving things as it is already. Um, and then, of course, I have this all going through the um, low-pass gate. Uh, this particular one is in um, just gate mode, I think. Uh, so, yeah, anyways... Um, <clears throat> And it's also, yeah, it is. It's this one. It's in gate mode right now. And it's up a little bit. So you're hearing like, it's not fully cutting off. So you're hearing like the FM of this, but then you're also hearing like, well, you're hearing like different, more notes than I would have had if 
Um, if I had this all the way down, you'd only hear like part, like half of it. So it's hard to explain this stuff sometimes. So anyways, this is what this one sounds like. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I'm going to turn it down first. I also have this um, particular oscillator running through beads. So I it, almost every patch I end up running something through beads because that gives me a whole other layer of like texture and stuff like that. And, and I can get in kind of almost like, um, like um, pads, like synth pads and stuff and just different interesting textures and things. So it all, I can either turn it all the way to the right where it's um, fully wet and get a whole different layer. Sometimes I'll just do that. Or I can mix between, um, you know, what's coming out of here and what's coming out of beads. And, and that's what I did this time. I, I just did like a mix and just kind of worked with beads and worked with some of this a little bit to um, create some interesting movement and animation and and that's something i love it it creates like it's like you have the synth and it's on you know it's it's going 95 bpm and everything but it's like moving and living and breathing and, and it's just organic and that's what i love to do and i just track it out i'll just record the track in ableton um or whatever daw you know and uh it's it's ready made. I don't all I can all I have to do now is go in and, and arrange it how I want. I can take it out and put it in as I want and chop stuff up if I need to, whatever I need to do to make a really dope track. So so this is I'll, I'll just do a little bit of what I did on the track here for you and you can kind of get a taste. And again, this is like getting like a very distorted heavy metal because we're doing like this FMing and stuff, and I'm getting kind of some metallic sounds and all kinds of range of sounds just just listen you'll hear it's it's pretty cool so this is going to be the naked sound just with bukla at first and you can hear on that offbeat the the almost like a kick drum is coming in that was kind of an accident if i turn this down i think it goes away it doesn't go away um and I'm not 100% sure why it's not cutting off like I'd like it to. I forget. Let's see. It's coming. Oh, it's because I have this. This function generator is controlling the um, uh, this this uh, gate. So it's you can see it's releasing slowly. I suppose if I put it faster. Let's see. Okay. And then if I turn this up, I'll get more of it again. But I had it like this. And then like this. And I don't know, I just like that kind of back and forth thing anyways so I stuck with it so now let's bring on um, beads into it and see what's going on there And 
this is on like the red setting I forget what they're called I think it's called like the tape setting so it's like you can hear like that fuzzy like um, kind of tape effect with the, the saturation and, and, and all that you know so pretty cool and again I, now it's on just the bukla sound and I can do some different things. I, I wasn't playing with this too much when I recorded, but... have another little patch that i did um that i did the uh last night that's pretty interesting kind of in the same vein like a spacey drone type of thing almost like a heavy metal type of thing um using some similar concepts and stuff so i'll share that with you as uh we close out as well so um and if you like that if you think you'll be interested in that check it out um if not Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.